can you successfully complete this course without having covered any of the prerequisite courses? Well, the short answer is technically yes, you can, but you would probably be making life a little bit hard on yourself in the process. This course is the fourth in a series of courses that looks at implementing the direct stiffness method for increasingly more complex structures. So, you know, as a result of that, we, we do build on, on what we learned previously, what we've covered in prior courses, and we do assume some background knowledge as a result of this. Now, for total beginners, people who have never explored the direct stiffness method before or matrix methods of structural analysis generally, I'd suggest the direct stiffness method for trust analysis with Python course. Now, this course starts from the very basics and assumes no prior knowledge. If you've covered basic stiffness method analysis of trusses previously and you have a reasonably good understanding of the concepts, uh, you know, the basic concept of the direct stiffness method, then you should think about jumping into the beam and frame analysis using direct stiffness method in Python course. This course, it's an expansion. So this course here that you're looking at is an expansion of what we did in that course. Uh, and so covering that course would be a, an excellent grounding for what we're going to do later on in this course. Now, if you have a good handle on the direct stiffness method and how it works for 2D structures, and actually it's the expansion to 3D that you find confusing or that's more interesting to you, then a good place to start is the 3D space frame analysis using Python and Blender course. So this course takes trust analysis basically and from 2D into 3D. And it's also our first introduction to Blender as a structural modeling tool. And so we go into a little bit more detail uh, on, on how to use Blender as, as a modeling tool. Now, if you feel like you're already pretty comfortable with the concepts and material covered in the previous three courses, well then you're in the right place and this is the right course for you to start with um, and uh, you won't have any trouble working your way through this course. So the next question that usually comes up that people um, often ask before taking one of these courses is how much Python do I need to know? Uh, and you know, if you've covered any of the previous courses, you have more than enough Python to complete this course. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything complicated on the coding front. It's all going to be simple loops, if else statements, function definitions, things like that. So really don't let the coding scare you off. Even if you're fairly new or very new to coding, it's one thing to let the, the mathematics and the mechanics, you know, intimidate you a little bit, you know, that's that's natural, but don't let the coding put you off. You know, you get to grips with that very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, don't let coding put you off taking a course like this. All right. Having said all of that, though, if you do want to, if you do want to break up the thing, the, the things that you're you're challenged with, um, and you don't want to be hit with all of the mechanics and all of the coding in, in one go in this course, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to spend a day or two completing the direct stiffness method for trust analysis course. And that'll help you get up to speed uh, with some of the coding basics before jumping into this course. Um, okay, so. That's about all we need to say on prerequisites. Uh, if you've made it to this point and you're happy that this course is right for you, well then we'll get stuck in.